What's up guys, it's Joseph and this is going to be a video on how to zero your typical AK-47 iron sights at ranges that have a, a 25 yard and a 100 yard distance shooting. And so my example is going to be this uh, Ismosh Sega, the, which is in 762 by 39 To do this, you're going to need a few things. Uh, you're going to need an uh, AK front sight tool and this one is the AK FST. And uh, this one is really good because how big and, and long this, this adjustment bar is, which is going to give you a lot of leverage in order to make like um, the small adjustments if you need to do that. But overall this thing works really great. I'll show you how to use this later. And then you're going to need obviously an AK, the ammo that you're planned to zero with, uh, a good resting position. So I actually just did it on top of my ammo box and then some targets. First I want to make sure you know how the sights should look. So this rectangle right here is your front sight post and then this big piece is your rear sight with the notch in it. So you're going to want to center your front sight right in the middle of the notch and then line up the tops of the sights. A tip is uh, equal height at the top and then equal light showing between the posts. And then um, how I like to zero is with the top of the front post right in the middle of the target so this is my red target here and then you're gonna start at 25 yards and then set your rear sight to the two which means uh, 200 meters so how you do that is you're gonna click push this down and then push it over to the two until it clicks actually setting this to 200 meters and shooting and then zeroing that at 25 yards does a pretty good job of matching up um, with an actual range that does have 100, 200, and 300 meters. I'll just use the example that I had with uh, this gun. I was aiming for this target here, and then uh, these shots weren't there yet, and I kept hitting, I was hitting to the right. So what I needed to do was move my point of impact, so my POI, over to the left um, to match up where I was aiming, correct? So my point of impact needed to go to the left. And so what you needed to do with what you need to do with the front sight is you need to move well just let's just go over how it works. So this is the front sight post. It's uh, connected to this drum right here. And then so this tool is what's going to be moving uh, the drum and the post. And if I want my my point of impact to be to go to the left I actually need to move this uh, over to the right. Let me see if I can show you like with my fingers. So I, I was aiming here and my rifle was actually hitting over there. So I want to move my point of impact to the left. So another way to think about it is I need to move this front post over to the right. So that's why people say it's opposite when you're dealing with the front sight. Okay, so to move the, the drum over to the right. As you tighten this down, the drum, I mean, uh, this bar right here pushes on your drum, so you want to line up that, that bar with your drum. And then this is a typical right-hand thread, so as I go righty-tighty and tighten, it's going to push the drum. So you're going to just basically take your time, uh, put this over the drum, and tighten it down. So I can't really do that that well here, but it'll be easier at, at the range until that bar is centered perfectly on the drum. One thing you can do to confirm that is you can look through this hole because actually this hole needs to be right over the drum so that the drum has a space to go when you're pressing on it. You're gonna crank this down. So I learned that if, it, if it's more than three inches that you have to move, so in this case, you're gonna wanna do one full spin of the front sight tool. If you're starting here, you're going to want to tighten one full spin and I can't really shit like all the way until it repeats um, until it goes back to where you started at if you're any closer than three inches then uh, adjust with one half turns of this thing that's how you're going to do the right to left adjustment and then the height adjustment is also going to be um, opposite of uh, what you might think if I was shooting low and I wanted to move my point of impact up so like my hits were down here and I want to move the point of impact up 
I actually want to push the front sight down. So that means I'm going to use uh, this other end of the front sight tool and I'm going to put that uh, over the front sight post. And then if I want to move the post down, I'm going to uh, turn this clockwise. So my, in my case, this was actually pretty good elevation uh, for me. So I'm not sure exactly how much to turn it, but I would just do half turns at a time at the most. If you adjusted it downward, I mean uh, the front side post downward, that means you're going to have to bring your rifle up in order to get it to um, hit where you want. These were three shots that I had um, after I did my adjustments and that was that was pretty good so then you're gonna want to go back and uh, try try and shooting this at 100 yards or 100 meters if you actually have a range that is measured like that and then when you're shooting at 100 yards you're gonna want to click this back to the one if you only say have 50 yards having that at the one is actually going to work pretty well too so you could either go to 50 yards or 100 yards so 100 meters is about 109 yards so if you're using the 100 meter mark at 100 yards you're a little short and so what that means is your your shot is going to be should be a tiny tiny bit high at 100 yards if your 100 meters is going to be correct I eventually got uh, a five shot group with these four green circled shots. So this is a group at a hundred yards now. I got one, two, three, four, and then one went off of paper, I think a flyer down here. And that was pretty good for me. So I'll show you where my uh, front post ended up. You can see on this side, this is pretty much flush. And then on the right side, the drum is you know sticking out a bit so in order to zero this uh, for, for my needs at 100 yards the front post didn't need to have to move a lot over to the right alright guys if you have any questions go ahead and leave it in the comment section please like subscribe and share and then I'll talk to you guys next time